Speaking about deadly sick, though, let's go ahead and find out who is our deadly sick GM who is going to be dishing out the pain, uh, shoveling out the the torture. Can you shovel torture? I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Everybody, please welcome on in our GM who might not be here right away because he is cooking food. Our dear friend, Mike Uyama. Uyama, Uyama. Oh, oh, Uyama. Gonna ride a llama. Yeah, he's Mike Uyama. Mm, uh, not born in Alabama. Uh, could be chilling in a sauna. He's Uyama, Uyama, ooh, ooh. Uyama. Yeah, he's busy making food though, so uh, I presume he is going to show up very soon. So everybody, I need you to channel the energy so that we can reach out to Uyama's spirit. Guess what? If you can commune with the dead through weird rituals, you can probably commune with the living as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Easy, and thank you for the sub. Uh, that wasn't what Mike Uyama said. That was what I said. Okay. Ah, uh, I see anime. I see anime in the ether. <laughs> oh, that is pretty cool. I like anime. I see old anime in the ether. Ooh, ooh, it's becoming clear. There's a thief in the night and the daytime. And this is a thief we have seen on Cuso Grande before. Please get excited for the game today is Loop in the Third. Yeah. I accidentally hit the wrong button. The transition. We go. Wait. Lu Luhan the Fourth? This is Loop in the Third for MSX. Yeah. I love this game. There is a reasonable chance that somebody could complete it just because uh, there was somebody who did that, uh, Andy, who did that in a past match in years past. Uh, however, it is very difficult and there's also very, uh, it's very reasonable that nobody would be able to do that. But I, don't, I don't know, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, this is a game, though, that can very much frustrate people very quickly, okay? Uh, you're going to see them struggle, especially after the first level, and that is awesome. Wait, Lupin isn't in the public domain? I don't know what... So? You're not in the public domain, are you? I don't care. I don't care at all! <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and work on getting things captured. Everybody, uh, remember, this month, all subs and bits, all of the profits from subs and bits will be donated to the Southern Poverty Law Center. I'm doing this because I'm angry about people on Twitter. <laughs> and hey, what better to do with your anger than to donate to charity, you know? <laughs> Uh, anyways, we, uh, yeah, we are doing that. Twitter rage is sometimes the best, healthiest rage you can have. Maybe not, maybe not. Uh, that That's probably not true. Uh, but yeah, uh, it, it is going to be for a very good cause. So thank you, everybody. If you are wanting to support me separately, you can always do that through tips. Uh, I believe below the stream there is usually information on that. But honestly, you know, whatever. I can eat ramen for a little while. A little while, okay. I can I can eat cheap burritos for a little while longer. It's cool. It's cool. I like burritos. Oh my gosh, I had a great burrito yesterday, let me tell ya. To be fair, it's the same place that we get burritos all the time, but they're just so big and tasty, big and tasty, yeah. Bum, 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 
Bum, bum, bum, bum, bum. Okay, I almost have the players captured. Now, one interesting thing about this match here is that both of the players, uh, while they are competing in the match, uh, two of the players did disappear uh, just because they are unable to show up. One of them due to illness, the other one due to an emergency. So it's going to be a one versus one. Yeah, I had to throw a throw a layout together within the last, what, half an hour or so? Heck yeah. Uh, we got two zombies. We have no zombies. It's just a 1v1 match that we're going to be having today. So I think I'm just about ready. No October zombies, indeed. And thank you, Fruit Salad. For the bits, those will be going towards Southern Poverty Law Center. Now, I presume Mike Uyama will show up at his earliest convenience. Let me go ahead and just let him know. Uh, join when you can. He can just come and yell at me and that'll be fine. But let's go ahead and hear the music from the game. See if we can hear stuff. Sorry, Duke Nukem. You are just too cool. It's true. He's so cool. Ah, oh, yeah. Now, I've only seen one of the Lupin movies, uh, and that's all I've really seen about Lupin at all. It That movie was a lot of fun, though. Justin just randomly put it on one day. I was like, I don't know if I want to watch all of this. And then all of the stream later. I was like, oh, that was good. That was good. Look at her hair. It's so big. I love it. I think it was the castle of uh, Cagliostro. I'm relatively sure it was that loop in that I saw. Well, okay, I think I am personally ready. We can go ahead and wait for a minute or two just to see if Mike shows up, and then if he doesn't, then we'll just get rolling. Honestly, I love this game. I've played it before. It's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, Mike said that he'd be five to ten minutes earlier in this chat. Okay, Mike. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, Lupin waits for no one except for Maikuyama. Which honestly is a decent policy. Wait for Maikuyama. Uh, one relevant thing for him as well is that GDQ submissions are open until the end of the day today. I have sent in various submissions, and you all should consider doing that too. Uh, if you're a runner at Big Bad Gameathon or have done a run on Don't Make Us Bored, feel free to use those VODs in your submissions. Uh, I highly encourage you to do that if you would like to. Okay, I think I'm ready to begin. Yeah, I want to get this show on the road, specifically on the thievery road. Thievery's fun. Gonna steal, gonna steal, uh, my heart. That's the most important part. Steal that heart. <laughs> RBW, you remember testing this game? Good, good. Okay, everybody, I need you to get all of your best emotes, specifically anime emotes, thiefy emotes, uh, 
and spam those right now because the countdown is happening in Discord. Best of luck to the players. Go and kick some booty. Bubblegum emotes, those are important as well. Bubblegum, I guess orbs in general. As soon as I see movement on one of their streams, I will start our timer, by the way. And here we go. The bubblegum has begum. <laughs> okay, I'm just sending an FYI over to Hello Allison because the mouse is on the screen. That's not my mouse. There we go. Hello, Allison and Time Boxer, both dying basically at the same time. That's okay. It's kind of expected. This game is actually very, very difficult. Uh, you do not have a whole lot of health. And as far as I know, there really aren't health. Well, there are some health pickups throughout, but uh, honestly, you do not want to depend on them, especially early on. Stage two is the big wall. You know, you're going to see a few notes. Yeah, yeah. By the way, I forgot something very important here. Let me go ahead and get this added on. Ah, the lady's here, the good lady. Hello, good lady, how you doing? Good lady said hi. And it looks like Hello Allison is on to the second stage here. Yeah. Up. Welcome to whenever you transition over to another, uh... Whenever you transition over to another layout, it can get a little bit confusing. Uh... But we have fixed it. We're good. Now, people are asking how many points the players have in this. Uh, as far as I know, they are Time Boxers at 20, Hello Allison is at 19. First place will either enter the tiebreaker or will be uh, moving on to the bracket. It really all depends on how they do. Hello, I'm here. Mike, you're here. Oh my Damn. gosh. Good, good. You're here to okay. stop me from uh, just talking yeah. about all my mistakes in life. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, let's be honest. It's not just you. We all have plain mistakes in life. And, oh, you yeah. Know, Cuso, oh, yeah. But, and Cuso Grande, you could argue, is one of them, but it's the big mistake that brought us all together. So, yeah. <laughs> mistakes are like love. And you might say love is a mistake. <laughs> I mean, it can be sometimes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, how are you doing, man? Uh, I'm doing all right. Um, you know, I'm glad I could give this game out because I always like watching this game, especially oh, yeah. when people fall into the pits of Tartarus like Allison did. Yeah, um, that, it happens. This game is kind of like a proto Kaizo game where there's just a lot of traps that you won't be able to deal with until you've just seen it for the first time because either you're not given enough time to react or just what happens is so odd that you just won't know what to do. Yeah. Um, to, to get out of the fire pits, uh, you can either die, but it takes you back to the beginning of the stage, or you can dodge enough fire for about 10 or 15 seconds and then. Uh, you'll be restored back to the beginning of the screen. Uh, you fell it. Oh, I did give him the pro tip me. of don't fall. So, uh, you know, it, it, it's a tough one. I'm just trying to, you know, this is an 80s game. I'm trying to give you know, the 80s, 90s pro tips. So uh, don't yeah. fall. It's a good pro tip. It's, uh, a little, a little you, you know, can get easier out. said than done. Yeah, you can get out. Um, I would actually recommend trying to get out because, uh, if you just kind of give up 
on that. Like, cause here's the thing, stage two is something like 20 plus screens. It's by far the longest stage in the game. And in fact, uh, the last time we had this in, uh, in Kuso 4, no one made it past stage two. Yeah. Um, uh, in the Invitational, uh, Andy's just way too good and he actually beat the game in 40 minutes. I don't think that's so gonna happen here. dumb, seriously, so dumb. Uh, yeah, the thing is, I can see your recommendation possibly being misleading, uh, being like, don't fall. But yeah, Hello Allison is just dying over and over whenever she falls yeah. in, or whenever Faye fall in. Uh, so, which honestly is probably fine early on in the stage. It's, oh! Yeah, it's fine early on. This second screen is just so hard to figure out. You have to play, she's trying to rush through it and you really just have to play it patiently. Because mm -hmm. while there are some life restores in the level, they're really sparse, like there's maybe two or three, and you really don't want to take damage. Yeah, I, I think at this point, the players haven't even found any of the health restores. Uh, oh, there we go. Hello, Alcin. Almost through, but the top getting the knockback. Mm -hmm. I love it. Now, one thing that So players... the one thing about this game oh, is yeah? that aside from the pits of Tartarus, there really isn't that much RNG in the game. Yeah. Like, everything's pretty much a fixed pattern. So if you do the same things over and over again, you will get consistent behavior. Yes. Uh, of course, the jump is a little bit odd in this game. I can't remember mm -hmm. exactly what's strange. It just, I know it doesn't feel right. Mm. It's not just the jump, but just the controls in general. They're a little slidey, like you have momentum. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Time Boxer getting the stupid little flying ship to attack. Uh, and when it does the attack, when it goes down, uh, that is a good time for you to get past it. Uh, unfortunately, there are some enemies that if you are standing on the ground and you touch them, they will send you through the ground to... Yeah. This eight. game has massive knock... This game has massive knock knockback, and it's oh, really yeah. easy, especially in some of the smaller platforms, to just get knocked back by an enemy and fall into a pit. Um, Time Boxer has the correct strat. You just want to have a bubble in front of you if you can at all times to protect you from a flame. Yeah. Okay, Time Boxer went a little bit to the left. Not a huge deal. Uh, yeah. And as it turns out, if you... Enemies do spawn based off of your location. So uh, she was just sort of chilling on the left side of the screen in order to prevent one of the spaceships from forming or from oh oh hello allison learned an important strat you can jump on top of certain enemies mm. that oh. will help i didn't know that but that will help yeah i think that's when i was playing this i think that's how i got past some of these stages this game is really hard by the way mm -hmm. uh but stage two is definitely the hardest of all the stages. Like after stage two, it's not a cakewalk, but it's a lot easier to deal with. Yeah, there's still a lot of trolley stuff, but like none of the stages are as long. Yeah. It's very weird. Like I thought stage four is pretty long, but it's only something like 10 or 12 screens compared to this, this stage is 20 plus. Yeah, it's so long. So Mike, uh, I did let people know that today is the last day for submissions for yep. GDQ, uh, which is awesome. I know you said you probably don't have any bad games you're going to send in, and I'm sad, but whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I, oh. I just I just haven't been mining the bad games like I used to. Ah, that, welcome to life. life. <laughs> yeah, I sort of understand that feeling. I think Time Boxer is making a really solid push this time. Yes. Um, so this screen is really annoying because, yeah, these things just constantly spawn. You can't alter the timing by killing them at a certain time. But uh, you're you're just going to have to jump when all three are out. And Hello Allison got trolled I love at that it. one little platform with that, with that little enemy that knocks you down. I mean, this game is just absolutely ruthless. Like, I'm not gonna lie, like, <laughs> I was expecting Andy to get through this game, like, quicker than the average person, but I was not expecting to get through, like, stage two in, like, 20, 30 minutes or something like that. Yeah, yeah, it's... 
it was a little bit ridiculous. Like, the, yeah. this level is super hard, but it both is. of the players are really doing a good job figuring this out. Yeah, that's true. And it, it's important because this is a pretty high stakes match. Only one of the two will be moving on. One of them, uh, I believe Time Boxer has 20 points. If Time Boxer wins, she is into the bracket. Hell Alson has 19. If they win, then Faye will be going on to the tiebreaker. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That tiebreaker is going to be like its own tournament bracket at this point. <laughs> yeah. Like, how many people do we have sitting at 29 points? I don't know if I want to look. Yeah. It, it, yeah, it's like that, uh, who was it? Big Big Mike, who had like Max Cuso. All well, these people are going to Max Max Cuso or Maximum Cuso or something. Oh, jeez. Like yeah. Oh, there goes Hello Allison into the pit. Yeah, uh, Faye haven't really tried to get out of that pit. As soon as they fall, uh, they end up just trying to work out of it, or try, just trying to die. Yeah, yeah. But Mike, I want you to know I've submitted some games to GDQ. Nice. Yeah, I'm ready for them all to get it rejected like usual. <laughs> <laughs> no. You never I'm not know. gonna discuss that here, but you know, you never know. No, what, no honestly, what, what yeah. might get there. that's just how selection goes, you know. I've I've done selection for some stuff as well, and I just like if if it's in, then that is happy, and if it's not, then that is completely fine. It's that's just how the marathons go. <laughs> I'm sure someone will want you for commentary on a bad game, if uh, nothing else. Not a good game? I swear I could talk about anything, okay? <laughs> I mean, you can't talk about anything, Give, but... give me a subject, give me a subject. You kind of have the bad game magnet. Magnets? Um... Oh crap, that's my weakness, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well I just said bad game magnet, but sure, that could be a subject. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna not talk about that. <laughs> Vegan meatball subs, that sounds terrible, Kyron. I'm not talking about that either. You know what, Mike? I can talk about very limited subjects extensively. <laughs> Fair. Oh, I love it. Seriously, this game is a lot of fun. It is extremely difficult for the players. Uh, but that's completely fine. Did you know there was another looping game for the MSX, though? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it doesn't um, look interesting to me. So, I played that one a bit, because I was trying in a bunch of MSX games for Cuso Grande. Yeah. And... I try to make sure, like... You know, you know that when I test it, yeah. like I can make some progress too. And the two, two or three times I tried it, I just could not figure out how to beat the first stage. And if I didn't know how to beat the first stage, then I don't think it was very fair to give it to players and, and be like, uh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> good luck. Exactly, good luck. I hope you get farther than I do. To tell I mean, it's one thing if I make it to stage two or three or something, but like, I just got stuck in stage one. It wasn't through challenge. It was just like there was something I was clearly missing about the game. Yeah, that's understandable. Uh, by the way, this was developed by Toho from what I'm seeing here. Uh, let's see. They made the Castle of Cagliostro. They made... Yeah, the film the company? Like, I think so. They made it a Godzilla game for the MSX. Hmm. And Monsters Fair as well. Uh, I believe... I'm not completely sure. Oh, I love that Metanoch is showing up and being like, Oh, this is the Lupin with the Pits of Tartarus. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Mike, your name has caught on. I know, right? Yeah. It's a good name. I mean, I don't really know what else you're going to call it. <laughs> There's a lot of flames. <laughs> there are a lot of flames. Oh no, people are su suggesting other things to submit to GDQ. 
Uh, and let me just say, that Sonic game that just got some suggested, that has less than a 0% chance of being accepted. Like... <laughs> okay, so... Yeah. As, yeah. as someone who... You know, as part of a committee, you know, who goes through the submissions and, you know, and, you know, accepts or declines them, uh, how does something have a less than 0% chance? Like, how does that work logistically? You, you permanently get banned for submitting the game. Oh, okay. but you can still submit. You're just permanently banned from submitting that game. No, no. Afterwards, they will never accept any of your submissions ever again. Uh, so, oh, okay. yeah, not only do you lose out on getting that game in, you lose out on getting any game in. Oh, oh So okay. it's like, yeah, if you had a 100% chance of getting a submission in and you submit that it is so negative that it overrides the 100 percent so, uh, chance oh, okay and you so, are not so, so so it's not just a negative percent chance it's like more than negative 100 percent chance it's, it's like a black hole forever it's, it's like a yeah. black hole it devours of, uh, submissions <laughs> yeah see you don't want to submit that game to to a marathon because they'll just you're right out you're right out and that's how you get less than a zero percent chance okay obviously very true words <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so allison is taking the correct approach which is just take things slowly um it's a good it's a good strategy because honestly Everything in this game is going to murder you, and if you just rush into it, it's going to hit you. Yeah, um, I do like these weird blue missile guys because they look scary, but they're really not too bad as long as you don't get hit. But as long as you dodge the projectile, then you can usually deal with them. Hello, Allison, just going and dying to the fire. Yeah. Lupin's very weak to fire. Like, usually it takes a few seconds to start feeling the burn. Yeah, um, this this game, it's weird because this game normally has iframes, but in the pits of Tartarus, uh, you can just get deleted very fast. I mean, it's it, it's kind of useful. <laughs> I'm not sure that's what they were going for. By the way, I'm not sure all of the players have figured out how to switch gum types. Hello, Allison has for sure. Um, I did give them the controls, hey. and I did tell them how to switch gum. Gum, it's so, uh, very important for getting through stage two uh, to change yeah. your gum. I mean, yeah, it's oh, not gosh. necessary, but there's definitely some gum, especially the one that pierces, that's very helpful for getting through some rooms. Or the one that drops straight down. Uh, yes, that yeah. and uh, travels along the floor. That one's also very useful. Oh, oh there we go. Minutes. Time Boxer using some gum. This one, I think this is the piercing gum, right? Yeah, I, yeah. I, if I remember correctly, the red and white one is the piercing gum. Hello, I Allison. Think the seeing an area that one I don't the... think they have seen so far. Nope. Uh, this is new territory. Or fa fair. Yeah. Do 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 do. I love the music. It's so good. Time Boxer says, hang on, you can dive by jumping above the ceiling. Uh, I think if an enemy spawns there, yeah, but I know that in stage five, you can actually go on the ceiling or like out of bounds to like skip part of the stage. I'm just saying, question marks, that's my response. I don't know what yeah. happened. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened either. Oh no, the ceiling eats your bubbles? Man, the ceiling I will, is hungry. I will say this. Um, Hello, Allison is making really good progress on this bush. Oh, oh no! <laughs> no! Wow. They don't really... They really don't want to uh, deal with that at all. Oh, well, yeah. They've never actually given this a decent try in the pits yeah. there. Uh, and I mean... I agree with that for earlier, but when when you're like in your best push, I, I feel like you'd at least want to try. Because well, you, you know you what? were misleading. <laughs> well, uh, I mean that. <laughs> I mean, you know what? 
It's their problem, not mine. I it's mean, true. it's true. How, 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 is, how is don't fall bad advice in this game? You don't want to fall. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's fire and it hurts. There you go. Yeah, I, I guess it's the assumption. What does don't fall mean? Don't fall means there's no way to get out? Yeah. Oh, oh, face trying. Uh, 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 okay, okay, I like it. Oh no. That's that's fine. I mean, it's. Yeah. I I think uh, if they have. At least Allison tried. Yeah, for sure. Allison is still technically in the lead due to making a little yeah. bit more progress than Time Boxer. Though both of them have a very good chance of making progress with the good push here. Like, honestly, yeah. th this game is not over until it is over. Uh, and yeah. as I mean, soon as you have one good run, you can do it really quickly. Exactly. And the thing is, this is, this is, the stages aren't really long. So, like, they can make quick they can make quick progress in a good push so like until like maybe the minute you know until there's only a minute or two left i, I mean this can be anyone's game oh yeah uh i still love that like the blue guy deals no contact damage he's just there <laughs> oh hell to shoot bazooka oh the, double. <laughs> the combo like baseball Except you're the baseball, and everything is the bat. No! Oh! Another death from Time Boxer and Hello Allison. I just love the amount of dying that Lupin goes through. To be fair, though, I, I have a feeling that if he uh, actually were like trying to be a thief in real life based off of the anime, he'd probably be dead hundreds of times over. Uh. I mean, I think, or was was he really good at not dying? Who, Lupin? Yeah. Uh, I actually have not watched Lupin, so I can't tell you. I know that he he's a pretty successful thief, but like there's this girl, Fujiko, he's always after. And like he he's never successful with her. Like she always brushes him off. That's basically dying. That's <laughs> basically dying. Okay, <laughs> then he dies all the time. His 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 heart is dying. There you go. <laughs> just, just like how you said love is a mistake. There you go. There's there's Lupin's mistake. Love. And yeah, um, I mean, he has two partners, which are actually in bonus games, uh, but they won't get to bonus games until stage three or four, if they even uh, get that far. Yep. And um, yeah, he has his friend Jigen, who uses a revolver, and I don't remember the name of his other friend, but he's like this typical samurai, and he uses a katana. Ah. Oh. Well, true, it's not his heart that's after Fujiko. Oh, going on. Okay, yeah, yeah. I gotta ask, what's the most ridiculous thing he's stolen? Like, uh, Carmen San Diego is pretty high up there for the stupidest things that have been stolen. I what think, has Carmen San Diego stolen? I think stolen? she stole the Statue of Liberty once. I, I don't know if that's stupid more than impressive. Like, first off, you have to move the Statue of Liberty, which can't be easy. And second, you have to hide it. So I feel like the logistics involved in this, that's really impressive. Oh, oh, she stole the smile from Mona Lisa. And she stole the Grand Canyon. I mean, that's pretty impressive. I don't think Lupin has anything Garmin San Diego. She stole Kaimu Beach. In Hawaii, she stole a beach. How do you steal the beach? Like, like, do you, do, you do you steal a palm tree? Do you steal the sand? Do you she, steal boat? everything? The beach is gone. <laughs> and nobody noticed until it was done, until the deed was done. I mean, that seems to be the mark of a master thief, if anything. Okay, okay, fine. It's not stupid, per Mike Uyama, it's brilliant. I mean, <laughs> to be fair, it's sometimes difficult to distinguish between those two things. Wait, but... she stole all the salsa in the world? 
Why? It's, oh, that is a crime you cannot commit. That 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 is a crime. I, would, I just I need to arrest her now. I just made some salsa. That's part of the reason why I was late. Apparently, she had a Halloween party once. The show. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> I'm a little bit like you know she does all these giant heists and then she's like oh. Halloween party, everyone's invited, including including the people trying to catch me. Woo. Well, I mean, if she has a beach and a Statue of Liberty, wouldn't she want to show it off? <laughs> and she has all the salsa in the world. Oh, so, oh uh, she hired she somebody. She salsa for the party. She hired somebody for uh, the party to give candy out to the kids. It was a Halloween party. Uh, so that she wouldn't ruin their holiday. Oh, that's so oh, okay. nice, Carmen San Diego. What the crap did you steal? Let me let me go check it out. Okay, trick or treat, Carmen San Diego. <laughs> I presume she probably stole all the salsa on that day. Okay. Uh. Oh, she was planning the ultimate haunted house. Oh my gosh! Never mind, Carmen San Diego. If you're planning the ultimate haunted house with everything that you steal, I'll go ahead and let you. I'm gonna let you do it. I like haunted houses. I haven't been a haunted house in forever. Oh, there's a really cool one. Okay, she steals fireworks, a truck of turnips, and Tulland Man Head. Okay, Why would you on that day. steal turnips? Maybe you can... Like, you can make some purple juice out of it. Maybe she thought it was close enough to blood. I don't know. Close enough to blood? What, is she a vampire now? Well, no, or, it's or a haunted a vegetarian house. Or vegan you know, vampire? if you spray oh, your children okay. with fake blood, they get scared. Wait, and if you Carmen steal San Diego has stolen artifacts from the past, according to chat. So are you saying she has time travel powers? Well, there is where in time is Carmen San Diego, so yes. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, you're right. She stole an you're airport? When I was How a little kid, like... How are you supposed to fly like... and find her if the airport's gone? <laughs> like seven or eight, that little music that played on the, uh, during the game, like when you were trying to find her, always scared me a little bit as a kid. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, Time Boxer's in the lead, tried to uh, rescue the princess, but turns out that princess is uh, actually a monster and just kills you. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm trying to find out what she used the turnips for, but I really can't tell. She uses a jetpack. She uses jetpack a lot, it looks like. To be, to be fair, if you have a jetpack, who's going to be able to get you? Nobody. Uh, oh, 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 what was I going to say? Uh, nope, I lost it. I was going to say something really funny, I promise. going to make people laugh. Everybody just laugh anyway. Even if it's at me for forgetting. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, it, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? That was like one of my favorite games when I was a kid, and I still remember some of the lines from the lady at the airport. Well, right, travel will send you anywhere. Where to, Gumshoe? Huh, Mike? I don't remember that at all. <laughs> What's your destination, Globetrotter? <laughs> I love that lady. She was my favorite. Uh, I need to play that version of the game because, like, I, I solved one or two of the cases, but I never really made it too much progress. But it was so much fun! Yeah, I Yeah, I think now now I want to play the games again cuz I don't think I made any progress as a kid. I might have to do it on stream sometime. Like uh I mean, I'm doing Action 52 right now, which is I mean, I, more important. I do at remember the, the Where in Carmen San Diego like game show where they had like a cappella singers. Yeah, all of the all of the kids that played on that though sucked. <laughs> oh, Especially, well, yeah, and they sucked at 
They sucked at, like, knowing <laughs> basic geography. It's like, come on! The UK is right there! It's right there! Put your freaking flag on it! Oh my gosh, or... We're in USA is Carmen San Diego. You don't know what Connecticut looks like. Are you serious, you moron? Come on, you're supposed to study before coming on the show. You don't study, this is what happens, huh? Oh no, which rectangle state is Wyoming? It's the most boring rectangle. Come on. Uh. To be fair, there's like at least three or four boring rectangles in the Midwest or Mountain Time Zone that like, I don't know if I'd be able to tell them all. <laughs> wow. I mean, I guess I live over here so I could probably do yeah, all yeah. of them. But I was also a giant nerd when I was a kid. And people getting on Carmen San Diego, no, so, those were like the jocks, okay? So, so, so what you were players. saying is that you... If you have the time machine or the time machine powers that T Carmen San Diego has, you would go back in time to go on the Carmen San Diego game show and just destroy all those jocks. Yeah, I wouldn't even have to be small. I could just go in there as a full-sized adult. I'm a lot smarter <laughs> than any of those stupid kids. <laughs> oh, you're reminding me of uh, that show, Home Movies where Brendan's worried if he's stupid, so he asks Coach McGurk <laughs> if he's stupid. <laughs> and Coach McGurk is like, of course you are, you're a kid. All kids are stupid. <laughs> I, uh, uh, Coach McGurk was the best. I'm so glad that he, he was like the voice actor got fantastic roles like Bob on Bob's yeah. Burgers and Archer, like Archer, so yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> Home movies, I don't like season one because it's all wiggly the entire time. It's just wiggly. Oh, yeah, it has that, um, what, what was the, the, the Dr. Cat show, like, Wiggle Wiggle Vision. Yeah. And also, I think some of the voice actors who came on to season two are better than the season one voice actors. I think so. I, uh, I, I, th I, th I think I think seasons two through four are better than season one. Cool thing uh, yeah, about... Yeah, Vision, that's... Cool thing about the show is that most of it is improvised. Like, they had a general story, but none of the dialogue really written out. So they'd, like, record three, four, five takes of them just, like, BSing in a scene and... Uh, then use whatever they thought was the best. And honestly, it ended up being fantastic because of that. Fantastically yep. weird. And yeah, home movies, definitely worth watching. Uh, yes, H. John Benjamin, uh, T. Murdoch. But also, I, I would say that there are some episodes that are much better than others, and it's not going to be a show for everybody because it gets weird. Yeah. But yeah, I'm the wizard, wizard, the wizard, wizard, the wizard man. I'm the wizard, wizard, the wizard, wizard, the wizard man. <laughs> you remember that? Vaguely. I am a baker. And today is my birthday, and I just turned one years old, and I'm all alone. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love their, like, rock opera music. It's so good. Franz Kafka. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he is Franz Kafka. Franz Kafka. Be careful if you get impressed. <laughs> Oh, people are mentioning the Venture Brothers, which uh, I really liked, but I haven't seen any seasons past like season two or three. Oh, oh, Time Boxer got past the fake princess. Heck yeah. Oh, nice. I think that's While the first we time we're BSing about Adult Swim shows. Uh, the players are actually doing something. They're making progress. <laughs> yeah, so that little robot, you can't kill unless you use like a special bubble. Or special gum. My time boxer is making good progress. I think he had, or, or uh, she has about, um, I want to say five or so screens left. It's there not many. Too many, but with only one health. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's expected. He was just a man. Doing what he can. A warrior of words taking a stand. He is Franz Kafka. 
I don't... Yeah, I remember their friend Dwayne like doing all those metal songs because Brendan yeah. Small himself is a big metal nerd, so like Yeah, I'm oh I'm trying to remember the songs where he turns into a bug because those were really good. Uh the Franz Kafka rock opera is probably the best episode. So good. Anyway, anyways, sorry. Sorry, I'm just, like, reliving my college life as I'm talking to you. I can't... <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, yeah, it was so good. Okay, well, anyways, we are 35 minutes into this match, and I believe Time Boxer has made the most progress in Stage 2. Yes. And remember, especially for those who are new here, you do not have to hold on to the lead uh, in order to be considered the victor, because as long as you make the best push, we take your high water mark and consider that your best attempt. Based off of yep. the best attempt to get through stages, you can take the victory. And yeah, we have seen games where somebody made a great attempt, like in the first five or ten minutes, weren't able to beat it, but still took first. Really? Not recently, but yeah, I think it's oh, okay. happened. I can't remember <laughs> any specific occurrences of that. But it happened. Definitely Supp happened. Supposedly, so the lore goes. So the lore goes. The Kuso lore says... I, I, I mean, to be fair, there's been quite a few years of Kuso now, you know, six of them. So there's a lot of lore, you know, there's a lot to catch up on. <laughs> I can, yeah, now that we have so <laughs> many, I can episodes. just say whatever the crap I want. And it yeah. probably happened. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> a lot of, you know, there, there's still... I mean, you gotta, you know, look up the Utah facts. <laughs> oh, we've got too many of those. The, exactly. The... Oh my gosh, going back to the early days where the layout was hideous. I was the only commentator. I did, for some reason, I was like, I'm going to make a layout for every player. Uh, and then use their layout on their half of the screen. And it ended up looking vomitous. Like, seriously. Uh, that sounds like you'd have a lot of color mismatching. Oh, it was hideous. Which, to be fair, for a first year tournament that is based off of bad video games, it was about appropriate. Yeah, and, well, yeah, true. And, and I mean, to be fair, you know, the early GDQs, you know, don't look as good as the GDQs now, so, you know. Yeah. You, 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 it, it just improves. Oh, GDQ. Although, yeah, wait a minute. So it is, is, is improving Kuso Grande on brand, though. The games are bad, we aren't. How about, oh, uh, huh? That, that's, yeah. that's fair. Sure, we'll go ahead and put that on a t-shirt, everybody. Kuso Gra Grande, games are bad, we aren't. Or isn't. You could use whichever. Like if you wanna, if you wanna have a grammar error, that could be appropriate. That would be appropriate for Cusa Grande. Or have a grandma error. <laughs> a grandma error is also appropriate. Said cookies, oh, no. not brownies, grandma. Grandma error. Oh no, time! Oh, oh no, time boxer didn't win. <laughs> That's unfortunate because she got burned. Uh, the fire. She made it up to the to the area she was previously at with three hearts, so she had a good chance of making it through. This game is brutal. Oh yeah, MTI uh, was in the first Cusa Grande. That was when we always had two-hour matches, and yeah. he had Kid Cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a match where you don't have to worry about the players beating the game in two hours. You don't have to worry about them beating it in five hours. Like, it's not going to happen. <laughs> My first playthrough took, I think it was between 12 and 14 hours, something like that. Oh, so it's like a good, like, uh, mid-size RPG, you know? You know how, you know, old school RPGs oh, yeah. would have absolutely ridiculous, I mean, by old school, I mean, you know, Super Nintendo and the like, uh, would have absolutely ridiculous claims of like, over 80 hours or or 50 to 60 hours of gameplay or like, 
100 plus hours. Prepare to become a grandpa before beating this game. <laughs> exactly. And then accidentally cook cookies instead of brownies. Yeah, grandpa I'm... error this time. I um, mean, cookie, yeah. cookies sound good. Here's the deal. I, I still think that the game that took me the longest to beat on NES has to be, like, that I've actually completed has to be Athena. Uh, which, to be fair, it took to uh, the Mexican runner, what, 30 to 40 hours, somewhere in that range. Uh, oh, wow. And he had to get and help. That, yeah, yeah that, oh, that, I mean, that makes sense because, A, that game is super obtuse, and, but that says a lot because the Mexican runner never asks for help on any of the games that he did for his uh for his uh Ness Ness completion. I know, right? Like, but and, and, he, and he and he took like you know and there were some games that took him like nearly a hundred hours to, to beat. So like he was very dedicated. So it says a lot when he actually resorted to help in a game. Seriously, I I like, even though there are games that I can hate more in the moment, Athena is definitely, like, the most loathable. Yeah, it, 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 it's it's just a hatred that sticks. Oh my what can God. I say? The hatred that sticks. Oh, baby. That's like, that, that could be a good tagline for those little slappy hands. You, you remember the stretchy, sticky hands that you... Uh, could get from one of those like 25 cent machines came in a little ball capsule uh, and then you just slap people with the sticky hand and it would stick to them you know what I'm talking uh, about Mike not really I feel like this is probably something I had or did as a kid and I just don't remember let me see if I can find a good picture uh slap a sticky Hands. I'm putting that into Google and I found it right away. Not hard. Okay. Don't worry, I'll put it up on the screen, everybody, because I guess we're. I guess this is important now. I guess so. <laughs> Directly relevant. You know, Lupin could actually use one of these hands um. in order to, uh, like, steal stuff. Okay, here we go. Here's the sticky hand, Mike. You remember these? You remember these right here? Uh, did you link it in chat or? No, it's on. Friday? It's on the stream. It's on the. Oh, oh, I, 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 I'm watch. Uh, I was watching their streams separately, well, so you know I have. <laughs> but then, okay, I see it. I see it. Uh, oh, I, I was gonna say I already took it off the stream so that no, you no, can't saw see it, it saw and it, everybody else it. will know, and you won't. But okay, wow, wow. <laughs> I thought. We were friends, but actually, you this is how our friendship you were works. 90s just kids, just, just, mu just mutual insults and abuse of each other. That's it's. I mean, it's a good relationship, just not a good like relationship. Only in front of cameras, though. You don't want to be that way off of the cameras. True. <laughs> well, yeah. Hello, Allison is making a really good push. Two bits yeah. of health. Time boxer into the same location with four health. Honestly, it oh. still really is anyone's game. Uh, at she this got point. a she got a restore, so that's that's huge. Into and also, the pit she, for Hello Allison. Oh no! And yeah, she's just taking the death. I I do feel like not trying to survive in the pit is really hurting Allison at this. I point. I think but. so. Time boxer over the fake princess, but there was money. Ah, yeah, and you managed yeah. to get a good little bit of health there. Oh, yeah, Time Boxer actually, has also figured out the health pickups here, uh, which uh, is helping I, I remember, a lot. I remember what determines um, the health extensions. I think it's actually how many points you have. I think 3,000 is the first one, if I'm remembering correctly. It's you actually... You right. It's, it's technically not like a health pickup item, although the items will make you accomplish that score. It's uh, it's just that getting items raises your points. Ooh, a time boxer. Very nice jump over the bullet there. I yeah. was not expecting her to make that. And well, she's been to this room at least uh, three or four times at this point, so she knows what's going on. Still, choking is a very real thing for me, Mike. Yeah. And I uh, am so good for... at seeing 
my difficulty and just messing it up. Or, or not even choking, but just forgetting. I never forget. I only choke. Okay, so... Wee! The princess into the pit! Oh, oh no! So time box okay. goes there, too. But lots this, of health this, here. This is horrible. Yeah, lots of health. And as long as they're patient, or she's patient, and just... Yep. Okay, yeah, she'll survive. Yeah, not even taking any damage there. Yep. Nice. I love that princess. So good. Okay. Uh, she's making really good progress. Okay, on to... Oh, she she is really close. close. to the end. Yeah. Just this I think, top I think we might a see a stage rough. two completion. Just, uh... Yeah, this room is really tricky. I don't even remember how you get past it, but it's... It's a butt. There we go! She's okay, through, good. and this is the final oh, screen this of is the, the final, stage. This is the final screen. You can still mess it up. Oh, no. Okay, she got punched. That's fine. If she just jumps now... Yes! She made it! <laughs> she is through! You know what? That is... Um... That is better than, you know, about 90% of the Kusa Grande players that have played this game. Oh, and now she's playing the uh, the game, the bonus game. This one, you just slash a bunch of stuff. Yeah. And if you slash enough stuff, you get hearts. And she's fine. Yeah, she's catching on to it. It's just, it's just there's no context in the game. So you're just like, what's going on? Yep. You're just throwing, thrown into a mini game. Got a few. It's like WarioWare. Yeah. This. Yeah. Invented WarioWare. Lupin invented WarioWare. <laughs> I mean, Lupin invented many things, including the pits of Tartarus. You thought it was ancient Greece, but actually, Lupin retroactively invented it. I mean, to be fair... Oh, I wait. Allison is on the final room, too, but she only has one health left. Oh, my gosh. You, yeah, do not get... Oh, oh, hello, Allison. Okay, Taking okay. it slow. That is the right way the, the, to this, do this. This, the, 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 this is, that's a good call. There we go. Both She's made it. to stage three. Holy okay, cow. Okay, we, we, we have a real match here. We've got a match. <laughs> because these stages are much shorter. I love that hello, Allison kept killing the blue guy and he'd immediately respawn. I think this might be a lead change. Hell, Allison. Uh, yeah. Moving into Hello, first. Allison is in the lead. Holy crap! I love this! This is so cool! <laughs> uh, and look, okay, Mike, you were talking to me about what game I would rather see, this or something else. Uh, Lupin 3 or some other game, and I was like, I love Lupin 3. I'm a huge I'm, fan of the game. Uh, Prism Ranger, that would be stage five. Uh, Andy figured out that you can actually uh, go above the stage into this into the score area, actually, and uh, just kind of not deal with the enemies there. Yeah, these levels are tricky. Uh, they have a bit of a different type yeah. of trickiness to it, so. You know, I, I don't know if we'll see a, a completion of the game, but it, there's a very real possibility if they play well, either Time Boxer or Hello Allison could technically make it to the end of the game. I don't think it's going to happen, but still, yeah. really good pushes. Um, yeah, because as I said before, all the other stages are a lot shorter. I don't think they're going to beat the game at this rate, but I do think they could at least get to stage four or five, possibly even six. Oh, um, <laughs> And uh, Whittle Boop Boo Bowie, um, it's stage <laughs> six that is the auto scroller. I just love Bowie's name. Hey, Whittle Boop Bowie. Yeah, he's kind of like... <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, we're, we're so close to the end of the match, and I still have no clue who's going to take the victory. Ooh, very nice jump from Time Boxer. I was a little bit concerned that uh, she didn't have quite enough momentum to get over the pit, but she did. She got there. Uh, so she... if Time Boxer makes it past this pit, uh, she is now in the lead. There we go. She has made it. Yeah, it is going to be a back and forth match. 
possibly for the rest of this game. Yeah. Yeah. I love this. This is this is this is what gets things really exciting in Kusa Grande yeah. when when players manage to both get past a giant wall in the match at about the same time. With that said, I wonder how they're going to feel about the game. I yeah. did warn them that I like this game. I mean, that's not the worst thing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, Time maybe. Boxer got knocked into the previous screen, and then an enemy spawns from the right there. And Hello, Allison, making a good push here. I believe this is a new at first. Yep, Hello, Allison moved into okay. the lead right there. Okay, uh, Weary Katie. If it makes you feel any better, it probably won't take Hello Allison six hours to beat this game. Oh! It took me it took me about two or two and a half the first time. Yeah, I can see that flannel cat. There's something about this game where it's like, yeah, it's stupid and it's kind of bad, but like, it's just so funny and trolly and kind of charming that you don't really get mad at it. Like I was just laughing at this game when I played it for the first time. Yeah, honestly, I just kicked back and laughed every single time I died. Like, as soon as you enter pinball mode in a game, I am all for it. I don't care if it kills me. I love ridiculous knockback that is more comedic than anything else. It's so good. I'm really digging this smooth music uh, in this part. Good good yeah. use of a square wave and smoothing oh, it out no. with volume. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think both Timebox and Hello Allison are pretty even on progress right now. They're really close to each other. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Did Timeboxer I take the lead back? Maybe? I don't think she did. I think she got close, but Oh, into the pit. That's fine. Uh with 3 health, it's it's completely yeah. doable to stay alive. Just got to well, never mind. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind the fl the flames. Yeah, well, never mind the Lupin story. Yep, exactly. Mm. Uh yeah, some kind of so the way the pits work is that if you survive them, you just uh make it back to where you were. You do get a gem pit. though, and the gem I believe gives you some points which can eventually cause a health spawn. Yeah. So but it's it's very not worth it though. Yeah, I I would agree avoid it if at all possible, but if it does happen, you know, you get a gem. <laughs> You don't get any bubblegum in the pits, though. See, Greece hadn't invented bubblegum yet. <laughs> it, it took them many more years. <laughs> I don't think Greece invented bubblegum. I'm relatively sure it wasn't Greece. Who invented bubblegum? I'm curious. Uh, it was... Bubble, it was it was Samuel Bubblegums. Long history of dent or of dental problems in his family, you know. <laughs> Those bubbly gums. Uh, I think Hello Allison is definitely in the lead. They're making a really good push. Oh no! <laughs> and they got bumped off. Ah. People were asking if Tempest Roll, you thought I was talking about Greece the musical, not Greece the country? I'm pretty sure the pits of Tartarus are not in Greece the musical. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, unless you count the beauty school. <laughs> beauty school dropout. Go back to high school. Yeah. Oh, hello, Al. 
Alice, some of the knockback in this game is yeah. so comedic. It takes you to the previous screen. There's no chance you oh. just fly into oh, yeah. the, the knockback the in this game is just absurd. Oh my gosh. Q is now saying that I was talking about Grease the Beverage. And let me just say, no. What the crap? Grease? Why would you even Grease is not a beverage. <laughs> it's a liquid. Uh, that just yeah. made me re remember uh, the book, the BFG Big Friendly Giant uh, by Rodal. And the giants would eat people, and they loved to eat all different kinds of people because they tasted very different, but they wouldn't eat the people from Greece because they tasted greasy. And that was probably oh, the dumbest joke that Rodal had ever made. True, but probably not the biggest mistake. He's ever made. Probably, I, I imagine there were probably more racist comparisons that he had in that book. Exactly. Like greasy, <laughs> sure, go ahead and call me greasy. Yeah, Whatever. Yeah. Sometimes I'm a grease boy. Sometimes, like if I don't take a shower, my hair ends up being a little shinier than usual. That's fine. <laughs> I, I think what's really hurting um, Time Boxer right now is that she's taking a long time to knock out the. Uh, bazooka guy um, in the second screen. And it's kind of slowing down her pushes. Oh, so apparently the Turks tasted like turkey because they're from Turkey. Oh my god. Greeks are too greasy. People from Panama taste like hats. What? I get Panama hats. Yeah, pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, the Welsh taste like fish. People from Jersey taste like cardigans, and the Danes taste like dogs. Great Danes. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought it might be. Thank you so much for not ruining my childhood, Road Doll Bite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Welsh taste like fish. They have a lot of fish there, I think. I don't know, I've never been Maybe? to Wales. I've never been to Wales, too. I imagine I mean, they I, fish there. I know someone in Wales, and uh, he says there's nothing there. I know someone else who visited Wales, and he says they have very good lamb there. So there you go. I feel like, oh my gosh, uh, there, there are a few foods uh, that are absolutely amazing from uh, the UK and the British okay. Isles. Like, and it, like Cornish pasties, so good. So it's really debatable who's made more progress because both Time Boxer and Hello Allison are kind of walled on the same screen. <laughs> That's so good. Uh, it's it's legitimately whoever made it further to the right in that screen. I'm not sure who it is. Um, however, there is still three more minutes and the stage is not that long. So there's still time for one or two more good pushes, especially since Time Boxer has figured out the speed run strat for just get past the bazooka guy. Okay. Wait. Hello, Allison is now above the stage. Well, I mean, that's a good strat. It is a good strat. I mean, a little bit late to discover that strat, but... Uh, simply put, she's into a more difficult section of the stage with a decent yeah. amount of life. Life? Yeah, they both have a pretty good amount of health. The question is, will one of them be able to make it past the top section? Uh, and that's... So they want to pre-prep a bubble here so that the top will bounce off. Oh, oh no. Geez. Uh, oh no! Into oh no! The pits and she oh. just opts to. <laughs> I, yeah, the fact that she, uh, Faye has not figured out how to I get out of the pits think, has been uh, a serious setback. Yeah, yeah. I think Time Boxer's made more progress in this screen. She almost made it out of there, whereas Allison has still been knocked back by the top. Oh, she got past that screen once. Allison did. I didn't know that. Well, w this is why we have referees uh, who are watching. And when I say referees yeah, exactly. plural, I mean referee singular. Uh, <laughs> although technically there are other referees, but Cadis is uh, the overall head 
of the rulings, what Kata says goes. And honestly, yeah. he, he does a good job of being non-biased and not just saying, it looks like this person won. Yeah, it's yeah. really close, but uh, I believe chat, and if that's true, then Allison won. Because if they got past that screen, uh, that would definitely put... Yeah, Fair this is lead. this has been a and that's very unfortunate fun match to watch because Time Boxer could have made it past that screen, but and I don't blame her. She went for points because she wanted more life, but that ended up making her unable to progress past that screen. Technically, 15 seconds left. It's enough time to get there. No, well, not she, if you go into she the just pits. landed in the pit. Yeah, that was still a really close match. Yeah, this was and great. It was, and it was cool to see people get past uh, stage two, so that's always nice. Well, that is time, everybody. Throw your hands up in the air and do a little dance and maybe go steal a beach or something because the gentleman thief has, I don't know, he, he survived. He, he entertained me. And it looks like Hello Allison takes the victory today. Hello Allison then is moving on. Is it to the tiebreaker then? Uh, yeah. Um, they have 20, well, 19 points that put fair at uh, 29. Yeah. Uh, and Timeboxer asked, how far off was I? And it was probably less than a screen horizontally is what it looks like. There we go. Hello, Allison. Hello. I mean, hello, hello, Allison. Hello. <laughs> Congratulations on your victory. Honestly, this was super close. It was a lot of fun, and there were a lot yep. of lead changes in the last 15 minutes. I loved it. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Chad is saying less than a screen. Yeah, I, I, it looked like it was within a screen of each other, scrolling horizontally, yeah. that you both made your personal yeah, best attempt. So, so that top screen with the top that constantly respawns, um, yeah. Time Boxer didn't get past it, and you did. So that's what determined it. Yeah, yep. that was honestly luck on my part. Now, hello, Allison. I've got something to tell you that might help make the, the game a little easier. Okay. You know the pits. Oh, yeah. Yep. Um. You can you can survive the pits. Um, really? Yes. Uh, so what what you do is that you just have to be patient and you put a bubble in front and you put a bubble in front of you to just kind of get rid of some of the flames and you can just constantly do that. Try not to move too much. You'll occasionally have to jump and stuff. And uh, if you survive for about 15, 20 seconds, uh, you'll you'll get out of the pit and you'll be back at the beginning of the screen. Well, uh, I've still got it up, so that's good to know. Maybe I'll keep going. Okay. And okay. Uh, here's the thing. Yep. Stage two is by far the longest stage of the game. So in in actually, it so gets easier. Uh, How many uh, there's seven stages. Seven, there's seven okay. stages. So about halfway there. Yeah, that was a really good push. So I want to know your thoughts about this game. What, what do you think? So, so uh, when we started and you came in and said, just so you know, I really like this one. My immediate thought was, that was a threat. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I love this game. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, it's not a love-hate relationship. It's a love-super love relationship. It is fun. It's... I'm not a huge fan of, like, the things that just drag you down into the pits. Some of the detections are <laughs> so, a little iffy, but they're so uh, dumb. They just show up and then yeah, suddenly yeah. you're in the pits. Boom! You're in the pit. The pits of Tartarus. Yep. The game is full of trolley design, but oh, I don't know. When I played this game, I just laughed at it. Like I thought it was very fun. Yeah, I mean, I it, it definitely has some of that. Um, I was not mad at it. Like each screen being a weird little puzzle in its own right is kind of neat. But... Yeah. You're right, I didn't think about it that way, but yeah, each screen is basically some sort of puzzle. How do you get through it this? Is. Uh, and I felt it like is. I was figuring out some weird little tech here and there. This is one I might go back to. Yeah, okay. you, uh, you you figured out the ceiling tech, which uh, that is not the only stage where you can use it by the way. So it, it is useful yeah. tech. Right. Yep. Uh, I, I believe it was Andy during a match figured that out and actually uh, beat the game in the time limit. Because it's Andy. <laughs> and yeah, he, he 
managed to do that. But yeah, this, this is a game that I really enjoyed playing. Like, even when you get knocked back, it felt more comedic because of how far you fly and yeah, how, you like, bounce. out of control yeah, yeah. you are. Also, I'm sure I there's want... some way of using that to your advantage, but I, I did not. I want on. to say that uh, you did really well because the last time I put this in, like, an actual, like, group stage Cuso Grande, no one made it past stage two. Yeah. Uh, getting past stage two is huge. Uh, honestly, we were thinking, will anybody do that? And I thought, I think we're going to see that because these two players are really good. And you both got past stage two uh, about within a minute of each other. And we're like, this is a race. Here we go. Yeah, two was rough. Yeah, for sure. Uh, were there any... Like, okay, the pits, obviously, you hated. Was there anything else that was really frustrating about the game? Not super much. Um, it feels like I could get pretty consistent with a lot of it. Okay. Like, there was some... Like, the little things that hover above you in stage two and knock you into the ground, like... Iffy inconsistency, but I was still able to ride them around. It feels like a game you could, like, actively learn and repeat over and over without too many problems, even in spite of the little bit of jank here and there? Yeah, like, uh, every stage, uh, at least everything other than the pits, it's pretty much set how things are going to move and how they're going to act. So, yeah, they're, they're, like, it feels a little bit random uh, at times due to those stupid little hovering things, but if you do things the same way every single time, you'll get the same results. And it, it kind of is nice for that to happen, yeah. Yeah, like I said, it feels very like a screen-by-screen screen sort of game. Yeah. I would say that for the MSX, this game is uh, pretty high up there out of games that I enjoy for the MSX. It's got its flaws, but I still have so yeah. much love for this. Yes, yeah, MSX definitely has a lot of games that are either too short or just borderline unplayable. So, I have not delved too much into the library. The one other MSX game I have any real time in is uh, Cabbage Patch Kids. Yeah! So. Oh, that's I a fun love, one, too. I yeah, love so this Cabbage is above Patch that. Kids. <laughs> this is above that? I would say yeah. this is above that. I, 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 I would, would say agree. so, yeah. Uh, for one, this game actually has an end. <laughs> Mike, you can beat Cabbage Patch Kids, I swear. It's possible. You can do it. No, no. If you get up to, like, 100, the game just loops. No, I mean, you can... I know that you've tried to beat the 100 stages, and you haven't. But I promise you can do it, Mike. One of these days, no, no, you gotta. No, no, I, I think I actually did it. Wait, and what? yeah, it just turns out... It just turns out that the game... Was, yeah. Wow, Mike was better than me. Well... <laughs> I might have save-stated a bit to do that, because I remember getting up to 90s, like, multiple times, and there's this one screen in 90s that's just so ridiculously oh, trolling. Like, oh, Mike beat it by state. cheating. Okay. I did, yes. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> well, that's okay. Maybe you can do it for reals one day. <laughs> Hello, Allison. Thank you so much. Is there anything that you'd like to plug uh, that's going uh, on in your side of the world? Not a whole lot right now. Cool. Well, Just that's completely out. fine. Playing Lupin the Third on the MSX, apparently. <laughs> I, I, I yeah. definitely had fun beating the game, and there's definitely a few more good trolls in it, so uh, I would definitely recommend yeah. it. Yeah, uh, you really do not have too much longer in the game, and honestly, yeah. you're past the most difficult parts. Yeah. But there are good I trolls, know. yeah. I I would recommend I finishing it. I will keep exploring. It. Sweet! Well, thank you so much. Hello, Allison. Mike, thank you as well for coming and joining, uh, giving the game and giving some fantastic commentary, even if you don't know those little sticky hands from the 90s. <laughs> I, 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 they look vaguely familiar, but I, I just don't. They're remember. stretchy, they're slappy, they're sticky. They're, they were the best. Except that, like, <laughs> after. You, like slapping five things with it, it got like hair and gunk all over it, and then it wasn't sticking either. Oh, it was that kind of sticky. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Gross. But Lupin yeah, needed one of those. Gross. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you both. I'll see you later. Take care. Thanks for having right. me. All right. See you later. Thanks. Bye. Well, everybody, Cusa Grande is going straight ahead. 
Uh, we are getting close to the end of round four. After that, we will be doing tiebreaker tiebreakers, and I believe Hello Allison has qualified for the tiebreakers, so that is pretty dang exciting. We're gonna run a quick ad before I do. Reminder that all subs and bits that are sent during October go to the Southern Poverty Law Center. If we hit, for some reason, 520 subs, uh, then I will also play Action 52 on the Genesis. Right now we are playing through the NES version and that, I hate Ooze, okay? I have to say, Ooze, best music, Worst game. Thank you, Anonymous Cheer, for the bit. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, see you in about a minute after this ad.